Good morning. Thank you for your time. Today we will be presenting the strategic analysis of Quail Lodge and Golf Club. My name is John Peoples. My name is Sheena Nickerson. My name is Miranda Moss. My name is Giovanna Aguilar. My name is Tomo Bermudez. Today we will introduce to you the history of Quail Lodge and Golf Club. Quail Lodge was founded in 14-acre wildlife haven. Mr. Haber's entrepreneurial spirit has lived on in the property he loved and in the on-site restaurant, Eggers. Like Mr. Haber, the history of Quail Lodge also follows an unconventional path. In 1964, <coughs> Mr. Haber founded the company with a five-star mission, vision, and marketing plan. At this time, there were no other five-star resorts in Carmel Valley for Quail Lodge to directly compete with. This era marked a period of high profitability and top-of-the-line service. The company repeatedly earned the Mobile Travel Guide five-star award in the 80s year after year, which recognized the best venues in the industry. In 1997, Edgar Haber sold the Quail Lodge and Golf Club to Hong Kong and Shanghai, or HSH. At this time, the company was considered a five-star resort. That year, a management partnership was formed between two five-star resorts in Carnival, Bernardo's Lodge and Quail Lodge and Golf Club. For the next nine years, Quail Lodge and Golf Club maintained its partnership with its direct competitor, Bernardus Lodge. The partnership was dissolved in 2006 <coughs> due to corporate cultural differences between the two properties. Quail Lodge's first signature event, the Quail, a motorsports gathering, took place in 2003. The signature event embodies Quail Lodge's commitment to classic five-star service. The demand for this event is so high that applicants enter a raffle for the opportunity to attend. For the next few years, HSH tried to run Quail Lodge and Golf Club under the original Five Star Resort brand. This strategy no longer worked well because many new local competitors had entered the industry. The hotel portion of the company had closed its doors to the public in 2009, although the restaurant and the golf course remained open to the locals and members. After a $28 million renovation, the Quail Lodge and Golf Club reopened on March 26, 2013 with a low-cost, high-value strategy. Quail Lodge has a flat organizational structure. The major departments include clubhouse management, signature events, accounting, human resources, sales and marketing, engineering, and lodge operations. Quail Lodge benefits from this flat organizational structure because the individual employees have more autonomy, which allows them to take ownership for their actions. Many of these amenities are unique to the property and add to Quail Lodge and Golf Club's differentiation. For example, the Land Rover Driving School is one of the three in North America. Also, the fitness center is divided into cardio, stretching, and weight rooms, so different activities don't interfere with each other. The complimentary continental breakfast was also added after the renovations to add value to the experience. Primary internal stakeholders are those who are directly affected by company operations. They are categorized into primary and secondary. Quail Lodge and Golf Club has a small, highly effective management team. This team of assistant general managers lives on site and are available 24 hours a day. Employees are considered internal stakeholders because the contribution to the company depends on their happiness and autonomy. A poor relationship is characterized by a lack of job insecurity and lack of ownership for individual actions. Secondary internal stakeholders include Paul Lobby's owners and partners. After the failure of the original five-star differentiation strategy, Quail Lodge owners have had little influence on day-to-day -day operations. Many of Quail Lodge's employees are a part of the Unite Care Union. Having 137 employees requires high productivity, flexibility, and self-motivation from each person. To prompt this behavior, these employees must be paid and treated well. Employees will be strongly affected by the success of the resort. Quail Lodge is currently only partnered with Land Rover. This company offers a year-round off-road driving class. This partnership is secondary because the driving school does not have a significant impact on finances or overall operations. Quail Lodge and Golf Club's primary external stakeholders are its customers and suppliers who are influential to the company's performance. Customers' preferences shape Quail Lodge's golf services. 
This, which is evident through the rebranding efforts. Suppliers are also important as they can define prices, especially on rare and unique goods. This affects the company's pricing and product offering, particularly in the restaurant menu. Secondary external stakeholders have a low influence on the performance and operations of the firm. Pro Lodge and Golf Club's competitors, the government, and the local community are all secondary external stakeholders. We will now focus on the hotel, on-site restaurant, and special events. This grouping will be called sale for the rest of the presentation. HSH is publicly traded on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Chinese companies traditionally do not have a mission or vision statement. With lack of a mission and vision statement, management at Quail Lodge has developed the motto, One Team, One Vision, to provide seamless service. The North American Industry Classification System classifies Quail Lodge as part of the Traveler Accommodation Code, number 7211. That concludes the history and overview of Quail Lodge. We will now discuss our external analysis findings. This analysis covers the general and competitive environment within the hospitality industry. There are many factors out of Quail Lodge's ability to control, but still it strongly affects its ability to be financially successful. The pistol analysis defines political, economical, social, technological, environmental, and legal services. Political factors include limited job growth and employment of immigrants. The economic growth is the economic growth's main factor is economic factor. The social factors include changing demographics, green meetings, and culinary travelers. The technological factors include internet access, automated services, and meeting room technology. The environmental factors include sustainability, the California drought, and physical constraints. Discrimination is the main legal factor. For the purpose of this presentation, we will only focus on the high influence factors. Economic conditions include the relative growth and decline of the U.S. economy. This plays a key role in how consumers feel about spending money on leisurely travel. Scientific advancements make technological factors possible. Guests are more frequently interested in expanded internet access, automated services, and meeting room technology. Automated services remove humans from the picture to streamline processes. An example includes digital comment cards. Meeting room technology advancements have been adapted for multimedia and include easy-to-reach plugs and expanded bandwidth. A competitive forces analysis can identify Quail Lodge's existing potential profit, the economic power of suppliers, the threat of substitutes, and the level of competition have the strongest influence on profitability. The economic power of suppliers is ranked high because Quail Lodge has few suppliers that provide the majority of its goods. Substitutes for Quail Lodge include one and five star hotels. Guests looking for more amenities will move towards five star hotels while price sensitive guests will look towards one stars. The level of competition is medium because there are many other lodging options in Monterey County. Hotels that use dynamic pricing are price followers because they depend on the local market for rates. These are some of those hotels that compete for market share. The Hilton Garden Inn of Monterey, the Hyatt Regency of Monterey, and Intercontinental Le Clement are all come from multinational brands and organizations. Mission Ranch, Carmel Valley Ranch and La Playa Carmel do not have a strong global brand due to being boutique resorts. These competitors can be compared in a strategic group map, which categorizes industry competitors into groups that follow similar strategies. All direct and indirect competitors are ranked in comparison to Quail Lodge. Mission Ranch, the Hilton Garden Inn, and La Playa Carmel have lower rankings due to their lack of differentiation. Carmel Valley Ranch can be considered an industry benchmark due to its high range of services and amenities. The general and competitive environment analysis reveal the following opportunities and trends to future profitability. These include technological advances, economic adaptation, and pricing strategies. The external trends include the economic power of suppliers and competition. We will now discuss our internal analysis findings. An internal analysis covers the strengths and weaknesses within the company. Hong Kong, Hong Kong and Shanghai Hotels uses a related diversification strategy by opening different businesses within the same industry. It also follows a market development strategy by using current products to develop new markets. Quail Lodge's business level strategy does not align with the corporate strategy at HSH. After the closure, Quail Lodge removed, me removed many amenities and services which decreased its uniqueness in the industry. Since it is not a cost leader and its services are not entirely unique, 
Credit Lodge may be perceived as being stuck in the middle without a strong business level strategy. A company can determine the value of its tangible and intangible resources through a risk chart. The acronym RISK stands for Valuable, Rare, Non-Emittable, Non-Substitutable, and Non-Tradable Resources. Extraordinary resources have three or more check marks beside them. The extraordinary and tangible resources in the Quail Lodge RISK analysis are property and location. The property is rare because the buildings have historical value from the original owner. The location is extraordinary because it sits on a wildlife preserve as well as in a natural sunbelt that receives sunshine over 250 days a year. The extraordinary intangible resource is brand. The brand is strong due to the regional marketing campaigns in the Bay Area. This new strategy also adds to the high quality reputation from the previous owner's business level strategy. All of the resources mentioned support Coyote Lodge's business capabilities. These capabilities help Coyote Lodge to perform core functions to be profitable. The primary capabilities include online group booking, special events, and advertising. Over 60% of hotel reservations are placed on the Quail Lodge website, which is higher than the hospitality industry averages. This capability requires two resources. The four special events attract a large audience to Quail Lodge. The special events require seven resources. Lastly, the Quail Lodge marketing team operates on a low budget and produces marketing strategies that reach a large audience. This capability requires six resources. The financial performance section illustrates the financial situation of the company. Due to the recent reopening, we do not have financial data prior to 2013. The asset turnover ratio measures the sales earned for every dollar of assets owned. The hospitality industry benchmark is 0.5. Quail Lodge has an asset turnover ratio of 0.43, which shows that it is not as efficient as using its assets as the rest of the industry. The quick ratio measures how well a company can liquidate assets available to court to cover each dollar of the current liabilities. The industry benchmark is 0.8. Quail Lodge has a quick ratio of 0.3, which is a poor liquidity between the industry. The current ratio tells the company its ability to pay off short-term loans using short-term assets. The hospitality industry standard is 0.8, and Quail Lodge has a current ratio of 0.33. This illustrates that Quail Lodge is not well positioned to pay off short-term loans. Return on assets is an indicator of how well management uses its assets to generate earnings. Industry standard for ROA is 7.5%, while Quail Lodge has an ROA of 23.34%. This means that Quail Lodge is very effective at converting investments into profit. The inventory turnover ratio shows how many times inventories are sold and replaced over a period of time. The industry benchmark ratio is 9.3. Quail Lodge has a ratio of 108.62. It has a high ratio because the company owns the property when many hotels lease the land. A value adding chart divides activity into primary and secondary classifications. These activities have been ranked from low to high importance for Quail Lodge. The two activities, the low activities include procurement and outbound logistics. The medium activities include the firm infrastructure, human resource management, research and development, inbound logistics, operations, and service. Marketing and sales is ranked high because Quail Lodge puts a lot of emphasis on this activity. The company uses many different marketing channels, including the newspaper, radio, television, computer ads, promotions, and many more. The internal analysis reveal many strengths and weaknesses in Quail Lodge. The strengths include the economic adaptation and pricing strategy. The weaknesses include the economic power of suppliers and competition. We will now discuss our possibilities and recommendations for Quail Lodge. These recommendations will improve the company's position on the strategic group map, as well as increase the foci of the value-adding chart. Possibility one is to maximize Quail Lodge lobby facilities. Many facilities at Quail Lodge are being underutilized. Quail Lodge can maximize revenue by creating new experiences in these spaces for guests and locals. A kitchen demo area in the lobby is an ideal backdrop to many culinary activities in the future. The lobby at Quail Lodge was once a gourmet restaurant with a full bar, but now it's vacant. To increase usage of the bar by both guests and non-guests, Quail Lodge can turn it into a tap room that serves local beers. It is recommended that Quail Lodge consider alternatives A and C. A and B. There are many feasible options for creating a kitchen demo area for signature culinary events. 
The addition of a tab room will extend the hours of the bar as well as creating a focal point for guest check-ins. Possibility two is to increase customer service and employee engagement. Paul Lodge needs to increase its performance in customer service and engagement areas. A well-crafted organizational mission statement embodies an organization's identity and reflects the shared vision of everyone within the organization. Implementing a rigorous training program can improve employee skill set. Coil Lodge can focus on training each employee in a maximum of three areas. This will increase, this will make operations more cohesive. The implementation of review cards at the front desk helps Coil Lodge understand customers' experience. The company should carefully review these cards to ensure customers are satisfied with service and how the company can improve its policy. It is recommended that Coil Lodge implement alternatives A and C. A mission statement allows each department and employee to better understand the job and feel more united with the company. Also, review cards should be implemented so the guests can have their comments reported. Possibility three is to increase awareness and community engagement. There are many alternative ways to contribute to the community without directly donating money. Creating signature events is a great way to increase awareness of the business and create pride in the local community. The creation of seasonal culinary events allows Quail Lodge to offer new entertainment options to the community. Quail Lodge can leverage its reputation of hosting prestigious events by adding a large beer or wine event. Adding this signature event will increase awareness of Quail Lodge's services and brand. With help from local organizations, Quail Lodge can raise money for the community by hosting a charitable harvest run. The harvest run is a three kilometer race from the Quail Lodge property for participants of all ages. Alternatives A and C are recommended for implementation. The lobby will have more utilization if signature culinary events are created. Alternative C will also add value to the stakeholders because they involve the community with employees in a fun event. A company needs defined employee roles and duties to have cohesive and successful operations. Phase one for Quail Lodge would be the implementation of a mission statement that will improve employees' work performance and organize the work environment. Creation of review cards will also be part of the first phase so that the company starts making improvements based on customer reviews. Phase two will consist of the actual building and renovating of the tap room and demonstration in the lobby. Phase three would be to plan seasonal culinary events and the harvest run. Improving the level of differentiation will strengthen the company's position against competitors. Quail Lodge will move to a higher level of differentiation. At this point, Quail Lodge's differentiation will surpass the higher Regency in Monterey and the interna intercontinental Bicamlin. This improvement can be seen here on the lateral movement. The creation of the mission statement and implementation of the review cards will result in the operations section of the value adding activities chart to move from medium to high importance. The tap room and demo station in the main lobby will result in the service operations section to move from low to medium importance. The seasonal culinary events in the harvest run will result in the research and development section to move from medium to high importance. Based on improved values and strategic positioning, Quail Lodge will be more successful at retaining customers once the excitement of reopening wears off. Originally, Quail Lodge was stuck in the middle due to the limited amenities and services from the recent rebranding. If Quail Lodge implements our recommendations, the business level strategy will move the result a focus into differentiation is right. This concludes our presentation. We would like to thank Max and Sarah from Quail Lodge and Golf Club for dedicating their time to our project. We would like to thank our professors, parents, and friends for supporting us amongst this process. And lastly, we'd like to thank you, our audience, for listening to us. We now open the floor for any comments and questions. <laughs>